This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Verse 8, All these are the beginning of sorrows. First and foremost, as always, just want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Baharachak Wadash, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten and anointed Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. And with that, my Shana, Kabawadim, Lahasaquanim, Shalagadawarakab, which is double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom, uh, which are the true shepherds of Israel. And uh, Shalom, um, honors and salutations to Bayashah Dawada, which is uh, the house of David, representing the elect of Israel. All right, fellow servant Malak Rayab, back at it again with another servant, uh, another uh, video uh, through the spirit power behind by Shem Yashai, you know, dealing with this whole, um, you know, this 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 update, you know, of, of this um, escalating, you know, the, the the escalating tensions, you know, what I'm saying, um, you know, of this uh, this orchestrated, you know, civil war, you know, what I'm saying, further, you know, uh, brewing up, you know, on behalf of these uh, Trump supporters of the the right wing. You know, uh, extremist, you know, side of uh, politics, um, and the uh, the left wing, uh, you know, demo uh, democratic influenced, uh, you know, protesters, representatives, you know, clashing, you know, what I'm saying on on this uh, on this day, you know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, uh, where where the election results were supposed to be certified, you know, uh, for Biden. All right, these Trump supporters are, 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 are expected to, you know what I'm saying, specifically the Proud Boys are expecting to, you know what I'm saying, rally behind DJ Trump, the current king of Babylon, and raise hell on this day, man, which we've been anticipating, you know what I'm saying. So uh, this uh, is on the headline of RT News, and it's entitled, Trump supporters clash with D.C. police in Black Lives Matter Plaza ahead of Save America rally. Go ahead and I'll replay this little clip here. Okay, you know, so this is the day where you know, um, you know, you know, what I'm saying hell is, is is expected to break loose. I'm play the, you know, I'm gonna play this little clip, but but I just wanted to give you know, what I'm saying some further insight on the situation real quick. You know, dealing with this whole left wing, right wing political paradigm, you know, this devil is using to further incite civil war so he can further justify shutting down. Um, you know, what I'm saying, um, uh, you know, accomplishing his global hegemony through this satanic new world order agenda. You know what I'm saying? To collapse these economies, mainly the American economy, and shut down these governments, you know, to, to, to further implement military rule, you know, by imposing martial law. And that further goes into why uh, the D.C. mayor, you know, had a, a called for the National Guard to be activated, you know what I'm saying, a couple of days ago in preparation for this day. You know what I'm saying? On this day of the certified uh, uh, election results for Biden to be sworn in on uh, January 20th. Okay, so there might not be no January 20th up to that today, today, man. Uh, you know, Adam Ratzai, Lord willing. You know what I'm saying? But um, hey man, like it says in Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord Yahweh is a man of war. Okay, and he and he's controlling the, the, the spirits of these of these uh these ministers of Satan of this world, you know, i.e. politicians and you know what I'm saying, uh, and so forth, you know, you know, to to uh indulge in warfare, you know. So uh it says dozens of pro-Trump supporters clashed with Washington, D.C. police and Black Lives Matter Plaza on Tuesday night, giving a preview of the volatile situation that the U.S. Capitol may face soon as lawmakers are set to certify election results. You see? It says crowds of protesters, some of them shouting, this is American Plaza, were filmed pushing and shoving police in Black Lives Matter Plaza next to Lafayette Square. The stretch of 16th Street Northwest was renamed last year after a huge Black Lives Matter slogan was painted there amid the nationwide protests against racism and police brutality. All right. You know, and this is this is coming shortly after um, that Edomite cop, you know, got, uh, you know, released, you know, what I'm saying or, or in this case, uh, you know, uh, you know, let off of them charges, you know, from for shooting at Jake, uh, um, Jacob Blake down there in Winosha, Wisconsin. So, you know, what I'm saying this, 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 that's going to further, you know, what I'm saying intensify, you know, what I'm saying these, these these tensions, these racial tensions, man. So this whole uh, once again, this whole left wing, uh, right wing thing is, uh, you know, it's it's all political orchestration, man. Because uh, George Soros, you know, the bill the billionaire philanthropist, all right, tied in with the elite, 
all right, is, is funding, you know, Black Lives Matter and these different, you know, uh, you know, these, these uh, so-called political protesting groups of, 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 of controlled opposition. All right. You know, which, which further goes into why this this guy, um, uh, Enrique Terrio, he's a, which is a Cuban and so-called uh, Cuban from the tribe of Manassas, I believe it is. Uh, uh, um, he, he claims to be Afro-Cuban, so he's either Judah or, 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 uh, or Manessa, but more likely he's from the tribe of Manessa, okay? This guy, uh, Enrique Terrio, okay? And he's, uh, he's the chairman of Pr uh, Proud Voice, a, a northern kingdom Jake, more than likely, okay? And he recently got arrested for allegedly burning uh, Black Lives Matter banner at D.C. church. Now, the reason I, I find that further odd is because this guy here, uh, the NFC leader on the left, the, the left wing side of things, you know, dealing with the, uh, you know, Antifa and Black Lives Matter side uh, of the left wing, uh, Grandmaster J, you know what I'm saying, got uh, arrested back in early December, you know what I'm saying, for uh, being accused of pointing a gun at a Louisville Metro police officer, all right? You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and uh, you know, further representing quote unquote anti government ideology. So this is all, this is all, um, you know, this is all witchcraft through their politics, man, which I'm going to get that precept next. Because we're not ignorant of these devil's devices, man. All right. And we understand what's at stake here for them. And that's that new world order agenda. All right. That they look to achieve by any means, man. So this is Daniel chapter 8, verse 25. And it reads, And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. Okay. And it's his policies of, of his politics, which is witchcraft. All right. Through, you know, through his craft. All right, which is witchcraft. All right. It says, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. So he should be further, he should further exalt himself through his witchcraft. Like it says in Nahum 3 and 5, man. Or Nahum 3 and 4, rather. It says, this, this place is the mistress of witchcrafts and the mother of harlots, roughly paraphrased. And that's America. Okay. Babylon the Great, in which America means bitter. All right. You know, because, you know, the, the land of confusion, which is what Babylon means. In this case, the great uh, Babylon, the great, the great land of confusion is of bitterness. Okay, and that's why the world is out of course pursuing Psalm 82 and 5, because there's no righteous judgment being instilled here, man. All right, which is why this place is uh, the land of darkness, man, pursuing Job 10 and 22. So from the top, Salakia, Daniel 8 and 25, and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. And he's doing so mainly under the guise of so-called white supremacy to, to condition others, you know, to, to follow him. You know, follow suit after his wicked agenda and worship the image of the beast. And ultimately, his his God, you know, the spiritual demon Shatan. So it says, and by peace shall destroy many. All right. You know, so these politicians, you know, uh, um, they use the whole political, you know, uh, side of things as a weapon, instrument of Satan. You know what I'm saying? To uh, to prey out on the emotions of people, you know, through sensationalism and, 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 and vain promises and whatnot. Okay. You know, speaking like a dragon, you know. Speaking like a serpent, a, a double, a, a, a conniving, subtle uh, deceiver, okay, hiding war under the tongue when they present peace, you know, peace through a, a, a you know, a, a, a self-proclaimed agenda of, uh, you know, peace and prosperity for for the public. When it's all, it, it, you know, what I'm saying it's all uh, uh, confusion and witchcraft, man. So it says uh, he shall also stand up against the prince of princes. Okay, but he shall be broken without hand, you know, because the Archangel Michael is going to get involved in this in this uh, ultimate uh, uh, warfare. Okay, which is going to involve the spirit realm and this world, this realm. Okay, because this whole civil warfare brewing up worldwide, man, especially within America, Babylon the Great is going to intensify on a, on a, um, a worldwide scale, which is going to involve, you know, what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, domestic warfare and full fledged warfare of these other nations, which is why the, um, Xi Jinping of China, you know, told his um, his, his troops to not to be prepared uh, to die, to not be afraid of dying. All right. Because they, they've been heavily involved in, you know, saying uh, uh, war provocations with America, you know, chasing uh, the, the um, USS um, S. John McCain warship um, out of the, the South China Seas. All right. You know, what I'm saying the host of military drills, you know, what I'm saying, uh, 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 you know, to further, you know, incite fear into the hearts of, uh, 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 you know, the American militia, man. All right. Because, you know, Esau is a devil, man. I right, pursue the Micah the second chapter, always invading lands and looking to, and claiming them as, as as his own. All right, going into why uh, <laughs> President Rahami of Iran said he said uh, G. J. Trump uh, is, is not going to be safe in, uh, on any place on Earth. All right, and Russia's back in Iran. 
and China's back in Russia. So this is gonna be one hell of a war, man. And, and see, so, so the the war drums are beating in these last days, man. All right, in 2021, you know, or you Jake thought that you were hoping this this was gonna get uh, this this was gonna be a better year. It's already starting off with a bang, man. All right, because these devils coming with their agenda, coming down with great wrath, knowing that they have but a short time. All right, so I'm gonna get a uh, second Ezra 16 in uh, Salakia. Second Ezra 15. And I'm gonna start at. Uh, let me see where I'm gonna start at Salakia. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna start at verse 14. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein." And the world was given to the hands of the wicked. All right, Esau, Edom. All right. It says, "For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands." So it's going to be a uh, full-fledged warfare out here, civil, and, you know, especially through civil warfare, including uh, uh, race wars, class wars, and gender wars. All right. Especially seeing that that prophecy come to pass in America. So it says, "For there shall be sedition among men." All right, people are rising up against corrupt governments. Okay. You know, dealing with this whole crown royale situation, people, you know, what I'm saying, uh, uh, opposing the politics of the of, uh, of the jab, you know, disagreeing with the, with the with the political side of things, with the whole effect of this pestilence, okay, you know, especially you know within the negative you know of, uh, side effects of people who've taken the crown royale Maxine Waters, you know, what I'm saying, you know, so this 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 is going to further intensify things. It says. Uh, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. So they're, they're modern day kings or princes or presidences, their they're, they're presidents rather, their prime ministers, you know what I'm saying, the counselors, or, you know what I'm saying, chancellors and whatnot, you know what I'm saying. They're going to rise up against them, all right? And they're going to do so more, uh, uh, more so with violence, all right? It says, and, their, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And that's why they're, they're rising up against, they're taking it within their own means. You know what I'm saying to uh, 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 oppose their modern day kings and princes, which is why they're looking um, these these uh, you know what I'm saying left wing you know what I'm individuals you know what I'm saying uh, uh, are being used you know what I'm saying to proclaim their opposition with the with the current king of Babylon, okay, and that's going to further influence the minds of of, of the carnal minded you know what I'm saying to to further intensify this this spirit of warfare on this earth, man. All right. You know, uh, 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 of the of the of the plague of the sword to judge people, man, to judge the wicked of this earth. Uh, verse seventeen: A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, because they're going to have these military blockades and you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 you know, checkpoints, these crown royale checkpoints, where you ain't going to be able to, you know, uh, uh, you know, travel, you know what I'm saying, outside of your you know proximity without proving that you've taken a jab and whatnot, man. All right, and that's where we're coming. You know, that's the time that we're in right now. And these perilous times are going to get worse. Okay? You know, that's why um, down there in Seattle, there was a long four-mile line, you know what I'm saying, of, of people, you know what I'm saying, lining enough to take uh, the Crown Royale jab, man. You know what I'm saying? Maxine Waters. All right? You know what I'm saying? Which is why they, they're, they're um, you know, down there, speaking of, in Seattle, you know what I'm saying, there was, um, you had uh, Operation Warp Speed, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, you know, involved in the media, you know, speaking about, you know, making uh, Moderna um, go out more rapidly, to say the least. Okay, because they're normalizing this witchcraft, man, and they're demonizing those who oppose it. Because this is a, this is a, uh, this is of Esau's uh, New World Order agenda, man. All right. So that you know, so they're gonna they're gonna shut down, and this is going to the the global shutdowns. All right. You know, which is eventually, you know, gonna further result in, uh, you know, what I'm saying, uh, 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 you know, travel restrictions and whatnot. Okay, to further keep people confined, all right, do contract tracing and whatnot, you know what I'm saying, so they can, they, so these devils can uh, monitor everybody, all right, and this is the time we're living in, man, so I'm going to go ahead and hit some more points in this article, and then that's pretty much it, man, Lord willing, um, yeah, man, so this is, this is so, you know, um, you keep my eye on this situation, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit, because the Lord said, be occupied in prophecies, man, all right, you need to be mindful of the times we're in. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it says, the confrontation comes ahead of joint session of the U.S. Congress on Wednesday, which is today, which is set to count electoral votes and, and seal the outcome of the November presidential election as Joe Biden's victory. President Trump claims that the election was rigged and many of his supporters backed this allegation. You know, and then dealing with the Proud Boys specifically. Now, in this, in this, in this uh, video right here, 
Yeah, he's eating that one now. He's face is bloody though. And I talked to that uh, crowd boy about a month ago. I'm not sure how to show called black on So, hey, man, this thing is getting ready to pop off, man. And we're winning today. And I'm trying to, uh, 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 uh catastrophic proportions, man. Through the Holy Spirit. So he's lost his car, he's trying to pass. There she goes. Look at her face, man. Face bloody up. Your face. Can't let this happen. Oh, I'm gonna punch you in the See what he heard that Edomite said, man. So-called white man. I believe he was Edomite. But he was saying, what he was implying was that them, them so-called Black Lives Matter protesters' lives don't matter, man. That's what they believe. You know? And, you know, as they said, these devils use political optics, man. You know what I'm saying? For the proud side and, and Daniel 8 and 25 to, to, uh, to incite the, this, this level of, uh, you know what I'm saying, hatred and warfare. That's why that, that, um, that, that's, that, uh, uh, Republican senator, what's her name, man? Kelly, whatever her name from uh, Georgia, you know what I'm saying, was was further exposed, you know what I'm saying, for racist comments. All right, matter of fact, I'm gonna try to find it real quick, and I'm gonna go ahead and close out in a bit. But um, the con, man, let me see if I could find it real quick. Uh, yeah, Senator uh, Kelly. Let me pull her up. There we go. There's this devil. Uh, Senator Kelly Loeffler. She got further exposed for making some racist comments, man. You know what I'm saying? Some facetious racist, uh, racist comments towards so-called blacks. You know what I'm saying? The southern kingdom of, uh, of Israel. Okay? Because this, this, these devils don't care about you, Jakes, man. Okay? They, they, they've used politics as a main weapon to, to, to prey upon your emotions and, and condition you to further worship them. And, and, and you know, worship the image of the beast and ultimately them and their, and their god Satan. You know? You know, so we're at the end of this thing, man. Uh, and, and being at the, we're at the end of this thing, that includes Esau's exposure, his further exposure, pursuing a second Thessalonians 2 and 8 as a devil. All right. So I'm going to leave this off with uh, this final scripture. All right. This final precept anyway. And in uh, Ecclesiastes, <clears throat> Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Uh, well, actually, Slakia. Chapter uh, 3. It says to everything there is a season and time to every purpose under the heaven. And so and this is this is a time that we're in. And it says a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. All right. A time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up. All right. You got a lot of killing going on right now. All right. You know, because of the Lord is a, is a man of war pursuing the Exodus 15 and 3. It says a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. All right. And here's the point. Verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. We're not in a time of peace right now. We've never been in a time of peace since we've been in slavery for the, you know, for the whole duration of time we've been in slavery, man. Going even beyond 16, uh, before 1619, going back to the, the 13 and 1400s around the Renaissance period when we, came, when we went back into slavery after uh, we ruled Europe, all right, during the, the, the Dark Ages. We've been in slavery ever since then, Okay. Both uh, both kingdoms, the southern and the northern kingdoms, man. So this has always been a time of, of warfare for us, but no more so now in these last days, in these perilous times, man. All right, with the spirit of war, all right, of these last few uh, uh, prophecies prophesied in St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, is coming to pass. All right, through warfare. 
okay, to, you know, of the story, Esau's blessing, man. You know what I'm saying? Through, through uh, uh, martial law being imposed, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? As a further result of uh, this civil warfare brewing up in this world, okay, and, 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 and which is being used to judge the wicked, man. So it's, a, you know what I'm saying, a further warning, you know what I'm saying, for Jake to repent, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, and for us to, to, to uh, uh, you know, to, to steadily repent, and you know what I'm saying, and, and uh, pray that the Lord draws closer to us, man, because we're going to need him more so, than now, more so now than ever before in these last days, all right? Because through Yahweh Shai is, is, is where we're going to have peace. Proceeding in St. John 16 and 33, when he gives us the kingdom of heaven after destroying America, Babylon the Great, for her sins reaching the heavens. Proceeding in Revelation 18 and 5, man. So having that said, call Halal me Halal by Shemir Shai, by Harakar Kodash, for blessing me with the spirit to do this video. May Lord willing is further edifying and exhorting to the elect. All right, you may come across this video. All right, with that, a bald but bald DTA, I'm going to leave it off with the curse against Babylon. May Halal by Shemir Shai, by Harakar Kodash, Babakasha. Babakasha, Babakasha, Shalak Rayam, Wa Nashim, Wa Abadim, Wa Haragim, Wa Mashapadim, Al Kal Adiwamim, Wa Amalek, Wa Matazarim, Wa Baba, Wa Gawadim, Wa Bibinawa, Babakasha, 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 Dwada, 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 Timia, 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 Tawa, 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 Aman, Kwam Yash Allah, and Shalom to the elect.